Hello and welcome to the first episode of my Eco Lifestyle LP. So I'm going to do this Red to Riches style. And here is my Sim Maya Banks. She has the new creativity aspiration, which is the master maker. This Sim wants to become an expert at fabrication. And so with that comes Muser. Musers get better boost to their skills when they're inspired. Maker, these sims become happy when making things. They tend to become sad when it's been too long since completing a project on a fabricator, candle making station, juice visitor, or woodworking table. They oh. do not receive negative effects from crafting or repair failures. So that's good. Freegan, perfect for this challenge. These sims reject consumerism and prefer to reduce wasteful spending by any means. They enjoy finding... Mm -hmm. They enjoy finding reused or thrown away goods and foods. In fact, they have the best luck at finding highest quality treasures in dumpsters. Now, that's be very important. They may, be, they may become tense or uncomfortable if they spend too much time earning or spending simoleons. So that's going to be interesting. And then I had to be choose between <sighs> three... No. Close. I was between Green Fiend and Recycle Disciple. So I went with Green Fiend. These Sims are happiest when living on a green street and will continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. And Recycle Disciple. These Sims are rabid recyclers that benefit from recycling and rummaging for bits and pieces. But should they go too long without indulging in their hobby? Uh-oh. So this one, I thought... I might need to use a machine all the time, so I thought it's going to be harder to do for this challenge. So I did Green Fiend, so I, that was my uh, one choice I had to do. Got, those are the new traits we get with Equal Lifestyle. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, select the season to play in, because I do have seasons installed. Which will be interesting to see how this challenge affects this Let's Play. So, spring. Or should I do summer to make a little challenge? Hmm. Okay, let's do summer. I think spring is giving me a little too much time. And we will go to the new world of Evergreen Harbor. Okay, I can... I wanted to do this a true Rex to Riches style, so I'm going to choose a lot for her to live on. Um, do I want... I mean, one, two, three, four, five residential lots. Oh, this one, six. All oh, these other houses, I do not count. Okay. But anyway. So... I saw someone do it in this area, and I feel like I kind of saw James Turner do it in this area, so I think it's a little bit cheaty, but I'm also afraid there won't be dumpsters here. I mean, those look like dumpsters. I mean, this could affect my whole challenge. This is... Okay, Eco Lot, Natural Well, the shipping views, reduce and recycle off the grid. Ooh, off the grid. And then apartments and this kennel corner. Oh, it's gmail geothermal and reduce reuse recycle. Oof. I kind of want to do this area because it's the dirtiest. So let's do that. Actually, wait. Let's bulldoze this first. Oh, but I want to see this house. Oh, it's okay. I can see it a different save game. So bulldoze lot. We can do it that way. Your neighborhood's eco footprint is industrial. Learn more about this eco footprint lesson. Okay. Let's actually check that out. I actually want to see this lesson. Lesson eco lifestyle, eco footprint. Actually, I should read these. Neighborhoods now have a unique eco footprint. Landscaping, objects, and the actions of the entire community push a neighborhood's eco footprint to become clean, neutral, or industrial. A green eco footprint brings fresh air, a healthy atmosphere, and increased utility production of solar panels, wind turbines, and dew collectors. Lots with plenty trees, garden plants, and energy efficient objects contribute to green eco footprint. 
community policies promoting gardening and green initiatives also helped. An industrial footprint brings smog, pollution, and increased utility production of atmospheric water generators and power generators. Fires of all kind and trash plants all contribute to an indis industrial eco footprint. Okay, that's actually good to know. And we're going to read those lessons as we go along. So first off, this is a uh, Rex the Riches, so money, zero. Okay, I figured that one out. So money, zero, and here we go. Let's explore some dumpsters. So I know that was a new thing we could do in this game, so let's look for them. <gasps> There's one. Let's read her whims by Bbox. Honey, you're broke. Uh, buy a washing machine. Not gonna happen right now. Have a water balloon fight. Okay, that's free. Buy a wash tub. No, you're broke. Okay. Nap. Dumpster's empty. Oh no. Oh my god, is she gonna be tense the entire time? Because she's in this area? Oh no, what did I do? Um, okay, let's check out... Our new object, voting. Vote on neighborhood action plans. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right here. Uh, no neighborhood action plans have been put into action yet. Let's get voting. What does she want to vote for? Oh, but she doesn't have a vote. Influence points. Okay, how do we get these? Get influence points by supporting active neighborhood action plans, making new friends, doing civil designer career activities, or just by being an all-around stand-up member of your community. Okay, so that's how we get votes, and we can uh, vote on these. Upcycling. Tech support. Ooh. Rough housing encouraged. You can use mean interactions on other sim if that's the sim you want to be. This is interesting. Uh, I think we could... Ecofeminine appliances. Okay, juice community. And we can pick one. <gasps> There's so many. Free love. Caring is caring. This is where you can swipe other items from people. Self sufficiency. Oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. Okay. Um, let's just ignore that for now. She's tens, and we have to wait for, I guess, dumpsters to. Have stuff in them, just like plants in uh, random areas don't actually, um, plants on community lots, plants in general in the world have to grow for a bit when you launch the game. Now look at all this garbage. Gross. I wonder if, if the, the scene for the trailers could be filmed somewhere on here. This kind of looks like it could have been part of the trailer. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, since we have to wait for stuff to happen anyway, let's explore this lot. This community lot. Oh, it's a residence. Hmm. Uh, I, where's a community lot we can explore? Ew, what is this? It's like a waste treatment plant? Yikes. Oh, what is this? Is this a community lot? No. It's a residence. Okay, let's actually travel. Okay. So, I'm gonna go over here, the waterfront. Okay, this little area. What's in here? Can we collect anything? She's flat broke. Oh, is this another sign? Uh, check on latest gossip. Upgrade, I mean, she has no skills. Is this a dumpster? <gasps> Ooh, this one's full. Um, I mean, she's not hungry, so I'm just gonna die for deals. No! Stop stealing our stuff! Very fine dumpster in use. I've learned the secret to getting influence. After I got a job as a civil designer, 
the influence just started rolling in. The promotion I got last week didn't hurt either. I heard that promotions in any job can give you a boost. Put in inventory. Jeffrey, you're so annoying. Go away. In every pit playthrough I do, you're just always an annoying sim. Ooh, she found money. No, stop. <laughs> stop stealing my dumpster. She literally has only six simoleons, and look at you, money bags with your khakis and your and your shoes. I mean, okay, I also um, use just uh, eco living, no eco lifestyle, and base game to accessorize and clothe her. So here's some new actions in um. Some new outfits. Okay, look at him really going for it. Dude, you're not broke. Get out of the dumpster. She needs money. No, go away. Oh my god, please. Can't you pick this up? Oh, are all these just decorative? No, this is bad. This is really bad. Recycle? Can, I mean, she just has a trash pile. Can we sell the trash? No, she literally can't sell it. So I guess we might as well recycle it. Okay, recycle. Because Jeffrey here won't lay off the dumpster to go do other things. Some things I was really excited to do in this game. Oh, I forgot to zoom in. You received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler. Hover over the recycler or household finds to see how much you have. Bits and pieces are used to craft items using the fabricator and fuel fuel water and power utility producing objects. Just recycling things found in the dumpster is a good way to get more bits and pieces. Jeffrey, finally. No, get go away. I'm seeing the only dumpster we have. Okay, we can look for more, I guess. I guess. Oh, this is where I was last time. Okay. Any dumpsters? Anything? Anything? Anything over here? Can't you go fishing? I mean, I wouldn't eat fish caught here, but she can sell them at least. Please, there has to be another dumpster. Wait, this is like our area now. Um, I should probably pause, okay. I can't find any dumpsters. Oh, this is going off to a rough start. Anything over here? Jeffrey. Wait, let's just check here. Okay, no, we can't. How is she gonna- oh, what's upstairs? Nothing? Nothing. You serious? Oh, I guess because we haven't really updated the area. Oh, no, do not bond with the flies. Um, I feel like you can die like this. Oh well. Die for deals. We need some money. Oh, she got... Lucky find from finding a nifty object in the dumpster. Oh, what did she find? Trash? Ew. Oh, she found the seat of ju justice. Go away, Jeffrey. This is our dumpster. Oh, she got recyclables. And she got another broken piece of furniture. Oh, uh, die for deals. I mean, I feel like that's the best way. <gasps> she got a shower? Hold up. Was she able to fix that? Die for deals. Um, a kitchen upgrade part. 90 simoleons. Okay, okay. Um, uh, die for deals. Oh, 
Oh, she's stinky. No, get out. You, Nancy, you're literally rich. What are you doing here? Put in inventory. Okay. Um, I guess we have to go to our home lot to check out what's in, um, what condition the furniture's in because we can't see it here. So let's send her home. Okay, let's check this um, furniture out. I mean, it looks usable, is it? Ooh, that's actually really gross. But I feel like that's something you can clean. That's burnt. And that's a chair. Oh, did you see this hack? Technically, look how much I could sell it for. Okay, um... Now I feel like I just... Can I undo that? Oh, I can't undo that, can I? Wait, does it... Okay, so I think if I don't sell it... I mean, because I'm not planning on... Cheating, like, this is kind of going to be a, an extreme rent to riches, so I'm not going to try to sell anything from her inventory. Let's check this out. So this is all just stuff that... Oh, wait. Clean. Is she going to have a shower straight from the get-go? I mean, that's going to be groundbreaking. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, now replace the uh, repair it. Oh, she's gonna be herself. She just did, didn't she? <laughs> well, you're, why are you showering? You're just gonna pee yourself again. Um, might as well. Is there something you can pee in? That's like community. <laughs> is there a community bathroom? I mean, she is homeless. Which, um,. I mean, in the game it's funny, but in real life it's something that we as a country need to address. Um, but anyway, we're having a fun time here. Let's see if there's anything in this dumpster. <gasps> yes, okay. So she'll just pee over here by the dumpster. And we're just going to go from there. She's going to try to find some more deals like that shower. That's such a morale booster. To have a shower? Because that saves us so much time. She can nap in the dumpster. You want to dump nap in the dumpster? I mean, we're really just waiting for the time that we can die for deals again. Deliriously dumpy. The stench wafts through your mind. It's peeling and curdling all good thoughts from your dreams. And she's embarrassed. Let's send her home so she can, um shower and feel better and then we'll have her die for deals again and she's gonna shower just in the open oh i canceled her shower i mean you're going showering to dump like just go back into a dumpster i think that's kind of dumb let's die for meals because her hunger is getting a little low oh eco upgrade part that's cool did she find any meals Ooh, a table. <laughs> Empanadas. Okay, they're spoiled, aren't they? Poor, but they're food. Die for meals. Yes, okay, die for deals. I mean, she should get something positive because she's a freaking. <laughs> this is funny. Just fine from eating spoiled or questionably sourced food. Maya tastes a note of ac acidity, acidity, but spelled differently. A uh, hint of mold and dulcet, cloying tones of bacterial growth. Oh my god, ew! But all in all, the food seems relatively uncompromised from sitting in the garbage. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just fine. Lucky find from finding a nifty object in the dumpster. Interesting. 
Africa and then the rest. Oh, wait, what's this one? Prevented food waste inspired plus two from eating a meal out of a dumpster. Oh, wow. Okay, let's die for deals. I think she, I think she dives for meals again. Oh, let's check this out. Could she not? I thought we hovered over- oh, we hover. Six million sixty-eight little metal things? Oh, like a screw, and then 113 bananas. Because she's gonna browse the web. I mean, you can go shower. Go shower, you have a shower. Oh wait, you can still die for deals? Pfft, forget that. Die for deals, die for deals, die for deals. Oh, seven simoleons, sweet! Oh, you're kidding. If she found this... No, this is like unethical if she found it and it's in decent condition. Two simoleons. Die for deals, die for deals, die for deals. Ooh, shiny. Might have found three simoleons at the bottom of the dumpster. Oh, she doesn't want to do that anymore. Is it because she's tired? I mean, tired. Go to- Go nap. I mean, she's just- I think gonna be a stinky sim. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Just go nap in the dumpster. <gasps> Your neighborhood's eco-footprint is neutral. Learn more about the eco-footprint lesson. So we did that already. Go nap in the dumpster. <gasps> oh, are those soybeans? <gasps> they are. Wild soy plants. Oh, perfect. Harvest all, please. Please, just be nice and harvest it. <gasps> You're too uncomfortable. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> no. No. I know I made you nap in the dumpster, but like, deal with it, okay? Take a shower. This wonderful uh, piece of trash. We could have uh, put recycled that, I think. Can't we not put it in our inventory? Oh, scavenge for part. That's actually a really good idea. Take a shower. I mean, I just let you take a shower. Take another one. Okay, good. So we got some limbs. Buy a dryer. No, honey. Shout forbidden words. Oh, I can do that. Shout forbidden words. Oh, that was there. There we go. She did it. Okay. Put in inventory. Okay, so we have these. She has 18 simoleons now. Okay. Uh, she's not in a good mood and she's hungry, so let's have her eat. Check if food is still fresh. <gasps> that is too good. It's spoiled. It's worth 45. No, you can't sell it. Okay. Um. Pile of discarded food. Gross. Okay. Check if food is still fresh. And that was a no. She's hungry. Um, I mean... Grab a serving. Gobble gobble. I wonder if we can recycle a plate. Um, into the inventory. Okay, I'm thinking... Let's go get those soybeans. Please be comfortable. Collect soy wax. Can she do both? Collect soybeans. So maybe it's like a two for two for one special. I mean, I hope I can also. Oh no. Okay, she's just too uncomfortable. So let's have. Oh, fame. Add some Instagram story. Yes, honey, that is free. And show bills information. Oh, this is new. A lot taxes determined on all value of objects on the lot. 
power, you don't have any. Water, oh, she did, she does have a shower. Other taxes, tax breaks, and penalties. Oh, there's, interesting. Power, auto sell, utility surpluses. Oh, so we can sell? Oh, interesting. I wonder how we'll get to do this. I mean, she doesn't have any money right now. But let's get her fund up. The voting period is almost over and eco-friendly appliances is in the lead. Please receive to your nearest voting board or mailbox to vote by Monday at 6 p.m. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to do that right now. Vote. Oh, we had a neighbor. Do you want to learn how you can make a difference? If you've got a minute, I'd love to chat with you about your vote and how you can make this neighborhood more green. Oh, this is this dude. Let's talk to him. Okay, what's up? Oh, good. Huh. I mean, I learn about what in green. <laughs> okay, trees. Mom, piff, travoy, snares. Oh, these shoes are also new. Okay, <laughs> green neighborhood action plans. Welcome to Evergreen Harbor. My name is Knox, and not to toot my own horn, but people regard me as bits of an eco master on these parts. I utterly love talking about living the eco lifestyle. Do you know that you can vote on neighborhood action plans? They're called NAPS for short. If you want to help get our neighborhood to a better eco footprint, there's a lot of great options you can help me in supporting. Do it for the trees, green initiatives, eco-friendly appliances, and clean energy production. Voting is easy. You can vote at either a public voting board or even at your own mailbox. No excuses to dodge voting. Just make sure you have enough influence points I've given you a few to get you started. Voting ends on Monday, 6 p.m. Check the Simology panel. Why? For more. Okay, show me our neighborhood voting board. Let's vote. Oh, we already. Okay. What do we want to vote for? Okay, so you can find the appliances. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop right here, and in the next part, we're going to decide on our neighborhood action plans. Thanks for watching!